Welcome to Culture Alley Mandarin. Ni hao. This is Basic Mandarin Lesson Seven. Let's start by going over some of the phrases that you learned in the last lesson. Miss translates to Xiao Jie. Mister becomes Xian Sheng. While Mrs. is translated as Fu Ren. Similarly, female friend or girlfriend translates to Nu Peng Gio. Male friend or boyfriend becomes Nan Peng Gio. And young friend is Xiao Peng Gio. I translates to Wu. And name becomes Mingzi. To be surnamed is translated as Xing. And to be called is Jiao. Let's take an example. Informally, my family name is Wang. Translates to Wu Xing Wang. While formally, my name is Wang Peng. Becomes. 我的名字是王鹏 Informally, my name is Wang Peng. Is translated as 我叫王鹏 Great. Let's start today's lesson. Today we will focus on learning family names. In the last lesson, we learned how to tell someone our name and surname. So today we will learn how to ask for someone's name and surname. So let's begin by learning the vocabulary for family names, names, and any other vocabulary required for today's lesson. Let's study each phrase in detail and then combine them later to form a sentence. Let's start. May I ask translates to "ching one," wherein "please" is translated as "ching." And ask becomes one. Together, ching one implies, "Please, may I ask?" Let's look at the pronunciations for the new words we learned. Ching is pronounced with a falling, rising tone, and starts with a ch sound, whereas one is pronounced in the falling tone. Let's hear you say, "Ching one." Good job. Once again, may I ask translates to "ching one." Let's move on. Your name translates to "nin xing," wherein "your" is "nin," and name becomes "xing." Thus, the phrase "your name" is translated as "nin xing." Combining the two, we get the sentence, "Please, may I ask your name?" which translates as "Ching Wan Nin Xing." Once again, it's "Ching Wan Nin Xing." Great. An important point to note is that while the previous sentence is grammatically correct, it is often polite to add the word "honorable" before asking someone's name. Let's learn how to say honorable in Mandarin. Honorable translates to "gui." Let's see how to pronounce it. "Gui" is pronounced in the falling tone. Can you say "gui"? Great job. So now that we know that honorable becomes "gui," let's use it in a sentence. Here's a breakup of the sentence. Please, may I ask your honorable family name? May I translates to "ching," while "ask" becomes "one." Your is "nin," honorable becomes "gui," while family name translates as "shing." Now let's look at the sentence together. Thus, may I ask your honorable family name becomes. Ching Wan Nin Gui Xing. Good work. Here's a grammar note you ought to know. Did you notice that Nin 
is used both for your as well as you? This is because in Mandarin, we use the same words for pronouns and adjectives derived from them. Thus, nin can mean both your as well as you. Let's move on. After answering for one's name, one could simply ask the other person's name by saying, and you? Let's see how we translate this in Mandarin. We have translated and you in the past. Let's just go over the basics again. And you translates to Nina. We already know that Ni means you and Na is a question particle. Therefore, and you becomes Nina. Can you say that? Nina. Wonderful. Let's review what we've covered till now. The word honorable translates to kui. Na is a question particle. What about you or and you becomes ni na. While may I ask is translated as qing wan. Great. Let's see if you remember what we've covered till now. How do we say May I ask? Do we say it as Ching Wen? Or do we say Nina? Or will it be Gui Na? To say May I ask, we say Ching Wen. Great! Let's get back to our sentence now. On breaking up the sentence, my family name is and you. We get the following. My translates to wo. Family name becomes xing, while and you becomes ni na. So we can see that my family name is translates to wo xing. And ni na becomes and you. You may remember that na is a question particle used to convert statements to questions. Ending with na is helpful in making questions when the context is already known. A common circumstance is when you wish to repeat a question that was just asked for another subject, as in the case we are discussing right now. Conclusively, we can see that my family name is, and you, translates as, wo xing, ni na. Let's do a quick review using two characters now. Here's what their conversation would sound like in English. May I ask your honorable family name? My family name is Li. And you? My family name is Wang. Now, let's look at the conversation in Mandarin. Qing Wen. Nin Gui Xing. Wo Xing. Li. Ni Na. Wo Xing Wang. Great! It's quiz time now. Let's see if you remember what we learned. How do we say, My family name is Li, and you? Would we say, Wo Hun Hao, Ni Ma? Or would we say, Wo Xing Li, Ni Na? The correct way of saying, my family name is Li, and you is Wo Xing Li Ni Na. We hope you got that one right. Now, let's go ahead and learn how to ask someone's name. The vocabulary required for this will be what and name. So let's start. What is translated as Shama. Let's look at the pronunciation for this. Shama is pronounced in the mid-rising tone. Let's hear you say Shama. Excellent! Once again, what is Shama? Let's move on to the next word. Name translates to Mingzi. Let's look at its pronunciation. Mingzi is pronounced with the mid-rising tone. Let's hear you say Mingzi. Good work. Once again, 
name translates as Mingzi. Let's go over the two words we just learned. What is Shama? And name is Mingzi. Great! Now let's use them in a sentence. Let's go through the breakup of the sentence, What is your name? What is translated as Shama? While your becomes Ni, and name translates to Mingz. Another word that gets added in the Mandarin translation is Jiao, which literally means to be called. Thus, what's your name translates to Ni Jiao Shema Mingz. Literally, what we are asking is, You called what name? Now, let us take a case where we have the family name, but we want to know the first name of a person. For the purpose of this conversation, we'll assume the surname of the person to be Wang and the first name to be Peng. As we will see, in Chinese culture, we always give our surname before our first name. Also recall that Miss translates to Xiao Jie, while Mr. becomes Xian Sheng. Let's begin by breaking up the sentence, Mr. Wong, what is your name called? In this sentence, Mr. translates to Xian Sheng, while Wong remains Wong. What becomes Shema? Your becomes Ni. Name is translated as Mingzi, and called becomes Jiao. Now let's see what happens when we combine all the words together. Mr. Wong, what is your name? Translates to Wang Xiansheng, Ni Jiao Shema Mingzi. Did you get that right? Once again, it's Wang Xiansheng, Ni Jiao Shema Mingzi. Great! Let's answer the previous sentence using a simple sentence, My name is Wang Peng. Here is the individual breakup. My translates to Wu. Called becomes Jiao. And Wang Peng remains Wang Peng. Thus, combining the individual words together, My name is Wang Peng, or I am called Wang Peng, translates to Wu Jiao Wang Peng. Great! Now let's look at another sentence. Miss Li, what is your name called? can be broken up into the following segments. Miss is translated as Xiao Jie, while Li stays the same. What becomes Shema? Your becomes Ni. Name translates to Mingzi and called becomes Jiao. Thus the sentence, Miss Li, what is your name? translates as Li Xiao Jie, Ni Jiao Shema Mingzi. A simple reply to the above question would be, My name is Li Yo. Let's see how this breaks up. My translates to Wu. Name becomes Jiao while Leo remains the same. The sentence, My name is Leo, is then translated as Wu Jiao Leo. Did you notice where the title comes? Unlike English, titles such as Mr. or Miss come after the name of the person, not before. That's all for today's lesson. Let us try and have a conversation to review what we've learned. This is a scenario wherein Wang Peng and Liyo are meeting for the first time. Let's first see their conversation in English, and then we shall cover it in Mandarin as well. My name is Yo. What is your name? My name is Wang Peng. Here's how they should go about it in Mandarin. 我叫Yo. 你叫什么名字? 我叫王鹏 Good job! Here is an example of sentences using titles as well. 
Here, Leo would say, "Mr. Wang, what is your name?" Which would translate as, "Wang Xianxiang, ni jiao shen me ming zi." While Wang Peng would say, "Miss Li, what is your name?" Which would translate as, "Li Xiao Jie, ni jiao shen me ming zi." Good work. All right, let's take a quiz to see how much you've grasped today. How do we say my name is Leo? Would you say Li Xiao Jie, or will we say 我叫 Leo, or will it be 你叫什么名字 The correct way of saying my name is Leo is. 我叫 Leo. Good work. Now let's review everything we've learned today by simulating a conversation between Wang Peng and Leo. As always, we shall first cover the conversation in English and then switch to Mandarin. May I ask your honorable family name? My family name is Li, and you? My family name is Wang. My name is Yo. What is your name? My name is Wang Peng. Now let's see how this goes in Mandarin. Ching Wen, Nin Gui Xing. 我姓李，您呢？我姓王。我叫尤，你叫什么名字？我叫王鹏。Excellent. That's all we'll cover today. Let's move on to the most interesting part of our lesson, the culture leaf. Today's culture leaf talks about the importance of the color red in China. The color red in Chinese culture usually means good luck. Red is often worn in weddings to ward off any bad luck to the new bride and groom. A red envelope is a monetary gift which is given in Chinese society during holiday or special occasions. The red color of the packet symbolizes good luck. The picture here shows a typical Li Si's, a contemporary red envelope made in Hong Kong. In the next lesson, we will discuss sentences describing professions. We hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one.